Another argument I mentioned a moment ago, I'll just repeat it here. It's an argument that is the closest, I think, that science has ever come to proving the existence of God. It's the Big Bang cosmology. Nobody disputes Big Bang cosmology. We all know that the universe is about 14 or 15 billion years old and it began in this absolutely singular event in which everything seemed to emerge from nothing. Now, either that can happen or it can't happen and therefore there must be a Big Banger. Either you're gonna take this fundamental scientific principle and commonsensical principle, namely the principle of causality that no effect can happen without a cause. Nothing can begin without a cause of its beginning. Either you're gonna take this principle and apply it to the most important event that ever happened, namely the origin of the universe, or you're gonna junk that principle when push comes to shove. If every effect is a result of a cause, then the Big Bang must have been caused by something or someone. That someone, God. Yes, God. Otherwise, science is flawed. With no exception to its own rule of cause and effect, evolution must have drooled out of a super terrific oratorial enunciation. Evolution could not have been triggered by nothing, but he took nothingness and breathed our existence. Countless grueling fieldwork of experimentation can only lead to one cause of life's inception, God. Yes. God. The only existence to exist before existence even started. The only was, is, and ever will be. Hold on to your hats because the reality is jarring. He is the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. He transcends any theory that collides enormous with an explosion. He is the beautiful collision that natural selection longs to be. He is God. Yes, God. His very words unfolded destiny. He articulated the heavens and the galaxies. He is the theory and the remedy to all inquiries. He is God. Yes, God. He supplements every single ology with proof of his actuality because every field of study that takes itself seriously can't deny his authority. Seriously. Think about it. There's no way life could have happened accidentally. With all its complexities, whether physical or emotional, actual or conceptual, fantasy or factual, life is too complex to have originated unintentionally. Yes, God. He is science and art all rolled into one. He is more than superstition and he is definitely more than religion. He is in opposition to supposition and he corroborates creation. He is absolute, yes, God. He is conclusive, unrestrained, supreme, eternal. He is creative, unmatched, the source, phenomenal. He is God, yes, God.